Hello Deutschland, it is William Colling from Movie Blogs, and I am so excited because Lord of the Lost has won Germany's Eurovision 2023 selection with their song Blood and Glitter. It sounds like an accident just went down in Las Vegas. We hope the showgirls are okay. Devon! Hey William! <laughs> Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's do this! All right, I was just reading about Lord of the Lost. Apparently they do dark rock, industrial rock, electronic, goth, gothic metal. Lord, there's a lot going on. Hitting, play. Fasha! Okay, some musical theater action. Oh! oh yeah. Okay, there's the rage. Yes. Okay. All right. I think they eat lots of meat. Bloody meat. What we are this is what they're known for. You either love it or you hate it, but you'll never forget it. Beautiful hair. I like this. Oh, there's a tenderness to this. Mm. Oh, I like this. This feels timeless. The lyrics could be better. The lyrics could be better. But I'm gonna take it that this is more metaphorical. Okay. Ooh. This is so dramatic. And while it's rough, it's also polished. Oh wow, what's their gasoline bill? It works well on television, but I bet they want to play their instruments live. There, there must be a part of that because these are real artists, real musicians. I have followed them for years. Oh, I like that bit. Yeah, those staccato. Da, 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 da. This is really gripping and you want to see what he's going to do next. This has that post-industrial glam rock gothic vibe. It's got really strong fashion sensibilities though. This feels so German. Okay, wag the finger. Go, 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 go. I'm worried his clothes might melt. Oh, that's a squat. Hope he stretched. Very guttural. There is so much fire. No hairspray. I mean, they do have a vision. He's really into this character. Oh, yeah. Very 80s vibe as well. Very 80s vibe. There's a playfulness to him as well. I feel like he encompasses all gender, all sexuality, all emotion. Yes, Queen King. Wow. Was that three minutes? Oh, lovely. I ask if that was three minutes because that felt like two. That really sped by. I was gripped, I was hooked, and actually I want more. I would watch another three minutes of Blood and Glitter if it was on offer. Take it to the T.O.P. Chris. You know what? I'm loving it. I wonder where in the running order they actually are placed because it'll be interesting to see when Eurovision that is united by music suddenly takes a deep, dark dive to the basement of shenanigans, honey. First thoughts, we know yeah, Rammstein, for instance, we know lots of big bands from Germany. Germany's very good at this rock metal music. Um, yeah, they deliver yet again. I like how this is at once glamorous. The costumes are lovely, gorgeous, beautiful, red, sanguine, bloody, tomato, vine ripened. It's just a delicious look. There's the theatrics, there's the theatricality of the performers, particularly the lead singer. 
that lead singer is like this vortex that sucks you in. You like get stuck in his world of like mystery and mad, ooh, my WhatsApp's blowing up. Um, um, kind of wraps you up in mystery and drama and intrigue. And while there is screaming, it's very musical, right? Like, yes, they're loud, but it's also controlled. I think this is excellent. And certainly right now, after not having slept in like five days and being exhausted, this pops out. Like I'm trying to think of other acts. And I can only think of a handful off the top of my head, but this is one of them. This is just so bold, loud, daring, dangerous. This is what Germany should have done last year, the year before, many, do this. This is how you slay Germany. So often at Eurovision, Germany can be forgettable. Like really, Germany can be forgettable. This ain't forgettable. This is not forgettable. By the way, I like Molly Harris, so don't come for me. I'm talking generally. This is memorable. Here, guys, I gotta keep it real. I'm a little bit biased because I love Lord of the Lost. I have seen footage of them performing at you know, Copenhagen and music festivals with the harder edge. And I like their stuff. As a live act, they're very, very credible. You know, they play instruments and they really strum it out on stage. And despite the lineup changes, they always slay. This I have in the back of my mind. So a part of me just feels that in some ways they have shoehorned themselves into the Eurovision race by submitting something which would likely gain popularity in Germany but may not work much beyond then, right? Because their stuff is generally harder. I mean, stuff on um, Antagony, you know, their second album, so many songs are better than this, right? Fears, their debut album is, again, you go through the track listing, so many songs are better than Blood and Glitter. The lyrics here are particularly bad. However, I know what they're capable of and their strength is in the live performance. Have, however, having said all of that, Eurovision is a TV show and many of the band members, I mean, they may as well not be there because they, they don't even get to, to really breathe life into their art. So a lot of what they'll be doing will be gimmickry. Having said that, they're going to serve fashion. Chris is going to serve credible live vocals. They know, they play to like packed out. Didn't they support Iron Maiden at some point? They play to like packed out stadiums, arenas and big, and they also do the small venues. So again, when it comes to live performance, they really do get it. It's a shame they have pitched a song which really doesn't really give a flavor of their capabilities. But however, the band itself, Lord of the Lost, is fire and brimstone elevated hunty. And I would strongly encourage you to dig deep into their back catalog and check out their work. They are tr totes amazed and really amazing. Blood and Glitter. It's another conversation point. But hey, I'm checking out of this chat. I watched an interview with them on the Wooby Blogs YouTube channel. It was with our Rick at the National Selection. And they said that blood and glitter are opposites. And this song is all about accepting all parts of yourselves, the good, the bad, um, it would seem, the light, the shade, etc., etc. These are the lyrics. Blood and glitter, sweet and bitter, we're so happy we could die. Blood and glitter, what we are is but a choice, a promise to ourselves. We are free to break and change. Never forget, let it go. This or that, need to know. Whether above or below, we are all from the same blood. So that's a very beautiful message, actually. Hashtag we are one. You know, share the moment. Feel your heartbeat together. We're the same people. Beautiful message, beautifully delivered. This will turn some people off. I don't care, because what matters at Eurovision is who votes for you. All right, I want to read some comments from the Weebie Blogs website. Jot says, so many positive comments about our entry. Maybe I should print them out because right now it feels like a fever dream. Definitely not used to this.
Don't take your temperature, boo. This ain't no dream. This is real. I think when you're daring, people remember you. Sure, there's some negative comments, but when you're daring, you also get so many positive comments and it sort of drowns out the negativity. Sabrina says, now please don't be shy, Germany. Go over the top with their staging because we need more blood and more glitter in Liverpool. Colin says, congrats to Lord of the Lost. They gave a really good performance and I can see this doing reasonably well at ESC. Germany needs that all the best. Marcin says, is this really his live voice with no playback? My God, this guy rocks. I don't know why, but I kept thinking of Phantom of the Opera when he was singing, perhaps because there is this dramatic theater quality, but at the same time, he also was able to work that voice. At moments, I really felt this was incredibly, I mean, the whole thing is musical, even if he's emoting in a particular way. Um, I think that he is so talented. Lorene says, not Lorene, Lorene says, I cried out loud in that moment when they won the televote and therefore the show. Finally, we send something that's not radio pop. A lot of people think about heavy metal when they think about Germany, Rammstein, Electric Cowboy, and so on. We should have sent something like Lord of the Lost many times before because we are great in this genre. I don't want to overrate my country, but I dare to say that left side is realistic. May I dream of a top 10? Girl, you can dream of a top 10, absolutely. In my mind, this is the top 10. If I were to vote today, I'd put this in the top 10. It's memorable, it is so memorable, and it's also musical. They're gonna have a killer staging. Imagine what they can do on a big stage. That stage in Germany, that didn't look so big, but when they get to Liverpool, they can spread their wings even wider. And Vox Taylor says, finally, an Unser lead with a good ending. And by the way, both Blood and Glitter feature in my book, Wild Dances, My Queer and Curious Journey to Eurovision, out May 9th. Pre-order link in the description. Long story short from me, this is one of Germany's best entries in a long time. It is memorable, it is in your face, it is loud, and this group, they can perform. And on top of being able to perform, they have a vision. They have a clear stylistic sensibility. Like, you know their signatures, and I like their signature, and I cannot wait to see what they sign in Liverpool. Follow We We Blogs on Pinterest. By the way, Lord of the Lost, have you guys got a mood board on Pinterest? Because you are serving... You are ser serving death on the runway. Like, you are proper going for the slaughterhouse look. I'm loving it. It's like, it's like Prada in the abattoir. And, or shall we say Hugo Boss or Yo? Shall we throw in German fashion brands? Get that endorsement! Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Could Lord of the Lost make the top 10? Do you agree that this is one of Germany's best entries in a while? Are you excited that Germany is finally sending this genre, a song from this genre that they're so good at? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. And we'll see you later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>